In previous videos, I showed you the relative performance difference in gaming between the RTX 3060, 3070 and RTX 3080 laptop GPUs. I also made a video comparing the Max-Q versions of these cards. In this video, I will be comparing the Max-Q versions to the higher wattage editions and see how much the difference there really is. For those of you wondering what Max-Q means, check out one of my other videos by clicking on the card above. For this test, I am using the 2021 ROG Strix Gaming Laptop Series. These laptops all have 115 watts of total graphics power, with an additional 15 watts possible via NVIDIA Dynamic Boost, for a total of 130 watts available for the whole system. For the Max-Q versions, I have prepared a set of Zephyrus G15 laptops, each of them carry the 80 watt counterpart of the RTX cards. Disclaimer, there are many variables that goes into benchmarking games, such as drivers, ambient temperature, bias and game version, and more importantly, each laptop has different thermal design and power limits for their graphic cards. The comparisons you are about to see, is just an indicator to serve as a reference point. All laptops are tested using the stock RAM, and I haven't tested the laptops with external screens or other resolutions. Other laptops may display different results, but these are roughly the results you can expect for the RTX 30 series laptop GPUs at different power levels. The test setup is just like always, measured with the game's built-in benchmark tool at 1080p ultra settings with VSync disabled, and tested with the laptop's native screen. Let's start with the 3060 series and compare the lower wattage GPU that sits inside the Zephyrus G15 with ROG Strix G17 that houses the 115 watt version. Averaged out across all 10 games, the average difference between Max-Q and Max-P RTX 3060 was 10.9%. Comparing the RTX 3070 Max-Q to the Max-P version, the average FPS difference was measured to 11.3%. Finally, taking a look at the high-end RTX 3080 cards, both with 8GB of video RAM, the higher wattage card was still winning but the average FPS difference is now just 6%. If you watched my previous RTX comparison videos, you might recall that the difference between RTX 3060 and RTX 3070 is around 11 to 12%, and RTX 3080 is between 6 to 8% faster than the 3070. You can see that the 80 watt version of RTX 3070 is roughly equivalent to the 115 watt version of the RTX 3060. The 80 watt RTX 3080 performs similar to the 115 watt version of the RTX 3070. I will summarize above results in two easy points. First, with the RTX 3080, you clearly get diminishing returns for your money. The RTX 3070 with 8 gigabytes of video RAM can get pretty close to the RTX 3080 in terms of raw gaming performance. The RTX 3070 and 3060 will both score higher than the RTX 3080 in terms of FPS per dollar. Secondly, you are making a trade-off between weight and performance when choosing between Max-Q or Max-P laptops. With greater power comes more weight and adds more bulk into your backpack. The Max-P laptops weighs between 2.3 and 2.7 kilos, while the thinner and lighter Zephyrus laptops weighs just 1.9 kilograms. Takeaway from this video is to show you the relative performance difference between a Max-Q laptop to one designed for higher wattage output. I hope this video helped you in your purchase journey and please drop a like on the video to support my channel. You active support is vital to keep this channel alive. Take care and see you again in the next video.